buddy. Alright guys, so here is a quick tip for you that um, I always forget to mention to people that it's something I've started using over the last few years and surprisingly enough, it really works. It is the worst sounding, most effective call that I've found for locating turkeys after daylight. At daylight, within the first 30 minutes of daylight, I always use an owl hoot. Um, everybody's different, but that's what I prefer. It just seems to work better for me right after the sun comes up. The owls normally would still be going off and a turkey tends to gobble to it. But after you get past that first 30, 30 minutes to an hour of daylight, um, turkeys don't really like to gobble to it from what I've seen a lot in the areas I hunt. Where you hunt may be different. So what I have found is a tube call. Um, this one's from Flex Home. I'm gonna be honest, I like the Flex Home products. This thing does not sound awesome. You're gonna hear it in a second. It does not sound amazing. However, it is loud as hell. And nine times out of 10, if a turkey won't gobble to a box call or a slate or mouth call, they will gobble to this. It's so loud and shocks them that I think they just can't help but gobble. Um, another thing is not a lot of people use these tube calls, so it's a sound they don't hear very often. Everybody's walking through the woods with a diaphragm call in, or like me, I'm on a box call trying to get a turkey to gobble, and they just get used to it over time, especially the public land we hunt. So a tube call is where it's at. You can make these. We have a video. Um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can make one, but this thing it's much better than the one I can make. Super loud. Sounds okay, but it um, it really works. So I'll usually just give them a couple of cuts and a quick yelp, and then I'll cut it off. Um, I'll do that two or three times every time I stop to go sh try to get one to shot gobble. And, um, and if it doesn't work, I'll just move on, walk, walk a couple hundred yards, try it again. So here's what it sounds like. See, you got to get the reed loosened up. That's terrible. Hang on, let me see if I can fix this. Listen, no gobble. Try it again. Couple cuts, a quick yelp. And I gobble in my truck, but generally speaking, that works. It sounds so bad, but for some reason, it works. So try it out, get you a tube call. Uh, see if it helps you locate any more birds this spring or next spring. And uh, until then, come on, buddy.